Have you ever been tempted to do something you knew wasn't the best choice for you? We've all been there, haven't we? That extra slice of cake, that impulse purchase that skipped workout, the allure of instant gratification often blinds us to the long-term consequences of our actions. Temptations like sirens lure us off course and can lead us astray from our path to self-improvement and growth. But what if I told you there's a way to navigate these treacherous waters? A compass that can guide us through the stormy seas of temptation. Enter Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that's as relevant today as it was over 2,000 years ago. The Stoics understood that life is filled with challenges and temptations, but they also believed that we have the power to overcome them. Stoicism isn't just a philosophy, it's a way of life, a path to becoming the best version of ourselves. Stoicism teaches us to live in accordance with nature and virtue, to exercise self-discipline and to seek wisdom. It encourages us to contemplate the potential negative outcomes of our actions and to delay gratification in favour of more rational decisions. And it recognises the importance of community and accountability in our journey towards self-improvement. The teachings of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus provide a roadmap for dealing with the desires and impulses that can lead us astray. Their wisdom, distilled over centuries, offers valuable insights on how to resist temptation and make wiser choices. But don't just take my word for it. Over the course of this video, we'll delve into these stoic techniques in depth, exploring how they can be applied to our everyday lives. We'll examine how reflecting on our values can help us resist temptation, how practicing self-discipline can strengthen our willpower, and how seeking wisdom can guide us towards better decisions. So, are you ready to embark on this journey? Are you ready to face temptation head-on, armed with the tools and techniques of Stoicism? If so, then let's dive in. Today, we will explore Stoic techniques to resist temptation and make wiser choices. Firstly, Stoics believe in living according to nature and virtue. This philosophy, deeply rooted in the Stoic tradition, is a powerful tool in the face of temptation. In this context, living according to nature doesn't mean running wild in the forest or abandoning civilization. Instead, it represents living in harmony with our authentic selves and the world around us. Imagine your values as a compass, guiding you through the murky waters of temptation. Your values are your North Star, the beacon of light in a stormy night. They provide a sense of direction, a path to follow when you're lost in the labyrinth of desire. When temptation knocks at your door, take a moment to reflect. Ask yourself, is this in line with my values? Is this who I want to be? The allure of temptation often clouds our judgment, making us forget who we truly are and what we stand for. But by grounding ourselves in our values, we can see through this fog. Stoics see virtue as the highest good, the ultimate goal of human life. Virtue, in its essence, means excellence of character. It's about being honest, courageous, just and wise. When you're tempted, think about these virtues. Would giving in to this temptation make you a more virtuous person? Or would it steer you away from the path of virtue? Your values aren't just abstract ideas. They're the foundation of your character, the blueprint of your soul. They shape your decisions, actions and ultimately your life. If giving in to temptation doesn't align with your values, it's a sign that you should resist. Yet it's important to remember that we're all human. We all make mistakes, we all stumble and fall. But every stumble is an opportunity to learn, to grow, to become stronger. So don't be too hard on yourself if you give in to temptation. Instead, Use it as a stepping stone, a chance to reaffirm your values and strengthen your resolve. So, when confronted with temptation, ask yourself, does this align with my values? If the answer is no, then you've found your reason to resist. Next, let's focus on the role of self-discipline in resisting temptation. In the philosophy of Stoicism, discipline is not just about control, but about understanding. It's about understanding our desires, our reactions and our place in the world. It's about training the mind, just as one would train the body. It's about strengthening our willpower to make it an impenetrable fortress against the siege of temptations. How do we do this? Well, there are several practices that can help us in this endeavor. First, we have meditation. 
This ancient practice is not just about relaxation, but about focus and clarity. It's about observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment, learning to understand them rather than being controlled by them. It's about finding a calm center within the storm of our desires. Then there's journaling. The act of writing down our thoughts and feelings can be incredibly powerful. It allows us to take a step back and observe our inner world from a different perspective. It gives us a chance to reflect on our actions, our reactions and our patterns of behavior. It's a tool for self-discovery and self-improvement, a way to track our progress and hold ourselves accountable. And let's not forget about physical training. The mind and the body are deeply interconnected. By keeping our body healthy, we also keep our mind healthy. Physical training can help us develop discipline, perseverance and resilience. It can teach us about our limits and how to push beyond them. These practices, when done consistently, can greatly enhance our self-discipline. They help us to understand ourselves better, to control our impulses and to resist temptations. They allow us to make decisions that align with our values rather than our fleeting desires. So, whether you're faced with a slice of cake when you're on a diet or a chance to procrastinate when you have work to do, remember that self-discipline is your best defense. Cultivate it, nurture it, make it a part of who you are. Remember, the stronger your self-discipline, the better you'll be at overcoming temptations. Another stoic technique is to use negative visualization. This technique, also known as premeditatio malorum, is a cognitive tool that encourages us to imagine the worst case scenario or the negative outcomes of giving into temptation. Let's delve a bit deeper into this concept. Negative visualization is not about being pessimistic or fostering negativity. Instead, it's a strategy to mentally prepare ourselves for the potential fallout of succumbing to temptation. It's about visualizing the adverse consequences and understanding how they conflict with our goals and values. Imagine this, you're on a health-focused journey and you're doing your best to maintain a balanced diet. Suddenly, you're faced with the temptation of indulging in a hefty slice of chocolate cake. Now, using negative visualization, you imagine the aftermath of giving in. You may feel a momentary satisfaction, but soon feelings of guilt and regret set in. You've strayed from your health goals, and that could lead to negative impacts on your physical well-being in the long run. Or consider a scenario where you're trying to save money for a significant goal, like buying a house or going on a dream vacation. The temptation to make an impulsive, expensive purchase arises. If you yield, you might experience a brief thrill from the new acquisition. But soon, the reality of a depleted bank account and a delayed dream hits home. By engaging in negative visualization, you're essentially playing out the full story in your mind, not just the fleeting pleasure that temptation promises. You're acknowledging the potential negative outcomes and using them as a deterrent. By contemplating these potential consequences, you become more aware of the real costs of giving in to temptation. This awareness can strengthen your resolve and make it easier to say no when faced with a tempting scenario. It gives you the foresight to make choices that align with your values and long-term goals. In essence, negative visualization is a powerful tool in your stoic toolkit. It equips you to make more rational and value-aligned decisions, preparing you to face temptations with a clear mind and a strong resolve. Visualizing the potential negative outcomes can help you resist the temptation. Stoics also advise to delay gratification. A simple yet profound concept, isn't it? At the heart of Stoicism, we find the practice of delaying gratification, a skill that can be a real game-changer in our quest to deal with temptations. Picture this, you're at a crossroads, torn between immediate pleasure and the promise of a greater reward in the future. Which path would you choose? The Stoics would advise you to pause, step back and give yourself time to weigh your options. This is the essence of delaying gratification. In our fast-paced world where instant gratification is just a click away, the ability to delay gratification is like a breath of fresh air. It's a way to break free from the shackles of impulsive decisions and emotional reactions. It's about understanding that the best things in life often require time, patience, and a dash of self-control. So how does this help you make more rational choices? Well, when you delay gratification, 
you create a buffer between you and your impulse. This buffer allows you to analyze your desires objectively, without being swayed by emotions or immediate gratification. It's like taking a step back to see the bigger picture. And the result? More often than not, you'll find that the fleeting pleasure of giving in to temptation pales in comparison to the lasting satisfaction of staying true to your values. Delaying gratification does not mean denying pleasure altogether. Rather, it's about making conscious, rational decisions that align with your long-term goals and values. It's about choosing a fulfilling and meaningful life over momentary pleasure. Remember, every time you delay gratification, you're flexing your self-control muscle. The more you practice, the stronger it gets and the easier it becomes to resist temptations. It's a skill that you can hone, and with time, it can become a part of your nature. By delaying gratification, you give yourself the chance to make a more thoughtful decision. So, the next time temptation comes knocking, take a deep breath, pause, and consider the bigger picture. Your future self will thank you for it. Will thank. Stoics value wisdom highly. This is our guiding mantra as we navigate the turbulent seas of temptation. You see, wisdom is not just about knowing, it's about understanding. Understanding the nature of things, the cause and effect of actions, the delicate balance between desire and virtue. Ancient Stoic philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus spent their lives seeking this wisdom. They contemplated on the nature of life, the universe and everything in between. Through their contemplations, they found profound insights that can guide us in our quest to deal with desires and impulses. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and a Stoic philosopher, once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This simple yet profound statement encapsulates the essence of Stoic philosophy. It reminds us that we have the power to control our thoughts, our desires, and our actions. It tells us that strength lies not in succumbing to temptation, but in resisting it. Seneca, another revered Stoic philosopher, believed that wisdom lies in recognizing the fleeting nature of pleasure and the lasting value of virtue. He said, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. This teaching encourages us to resist the allure of immediate gratification and seek contentment in what we have. And then there's Epictetus, a former slave who rose to become one of the most influential Stoic philosophers. His teachings revolve around the concept of control, understanding what we can control and what we cannot. We are disturbed not by things, but by the views which we take of them, he said. This insight invites us to question our perspectives, to challenge our desires, and to seek wisdom in understanding our true needs. So as we journey through life, grappling with desires and impulses, let's seek wisdom from these Stoic philosophers. Let's learn from their teachings, reflect on their insights, and use their wisdom to inform our decisions. After all, as Epictetus said, only the educated are free. Their wisdom can guide you in dealing with desires and impulses. Lastly, Stoicism recognizes the importance of community and accountability. There's a saying that goes, no man is an island, and this couldn't be truer when it comes to our journey towards self-improvement. You see, we are social creatures. We thrive in communities, in relationships, and the same principle applies when we're aiming to deal with temptations, to build our self-discipline, to live according to our values. Having a community, a group of people who share the same goals, can greatly help us in this pursuit. Imagine having a group where you can openly discuss your struggles, your victories and your insights. A group where everyone understands the path you're treading because they too are walking the same path. Isn't it comforting to know that you're not alone in this journey? But more than the sense of belongingness, a community also provides accountability. When you share your goals and struggles with others, you're not just voicing out your intentions, you're making a commitment. And this commitment isn't just to yourself, but also to the people who heard you. This adds an extra layer of motivation for you to stay true to your word, to resist temptations, to strive towards virtue. This is not about fearing judgment or condemnation. No, it's about harnessing the power of collective effort, collective wisdom. It's about learning from each other lifting each other up during tough times, celebrating each other's victories. 
So don't hesitate to reach out, to share, to be part of a community. Be it a physical group in your local area or an online forum of like-minded individuals, embrace the opportunity of being part of something bigger than yourself. Harness the power of community and accountability. Remember, having a strong support system can help you stay on track. You're not alone in this journey. Together we can conquer temptations and live a life of virtue, a life in accordance with nature. Let's walk this path together. So, these are the stoic techniques to resist temptation. And quite the journey it's been. We've learned that stoicism isn't about denying our desires, but rather about aligning them with our values and the person we aspire to be. It's about practicing self-discipline, strengthening our willpower through meditation, journaling and physical training. We've also delved into the power of negative visualization, imagining the worst case scenarios to help us resist the allure of temptation. We've seen the worth of delaying gratification, giving ourselves the time to make rational choices rather than impulsive ones. We've sought wisdom from the teachings of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, and understood the importance of embracing community and accountability in our journey towards virtuous living. And now, armed with these techniques, we find ourselves on the precipice of change. With these techniques, you can become better equipped to resist temptation and live a more virtuous life.